So today we will discuss about the front of thigh part 1. In this section we will discuss about the skin, superficial fascia, content of the superficial fascia, deep fascia and the modification of the deep fascia. So first of all we will discuss, we will make a diagram here. This is anterior superior iliac spine. Here is pubic tubercle. This is pubic symphysis. Here is inguinal ligament. This is inguinal ligament which extends from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle. Here is position of the this is sartorius. This line is formed by sartorius. Here is if you make a, a cut mark from here to here like this and reflect the skin. Here you can see after reflection of the skin you will find superficial fascia. This superficial fascia in the thigh is divided into two parts that is fatty part and membranous part. So superficial part is fatty and deep part is membranous. So after removing the fatty part you will find several structure present in superficial fascia. Here you will find lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. This is lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Here is intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh. And here is medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. Here is position of patella. Here is saphenous nerve. Here is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf. And here you will find femoral branch of genito femoral nerve. And here is ilio inguinal nerve. Ilio inguinal nerve. And this small portion of the middle side, here you will find the branch of obturator nerve. So these cutaneous nerves are present in front of thigh in superficial fascia. And the structures here, here is the position of saphenous opening which is present in deep fascia. Here one branch of the femoral artery goes to its lateral side. This is superficial circumflex iliac artery. Superficial circumflex iliac artery. Superficial epigastric artery. Superficial epigastric. Superficial circumflex iliac. And superficial external pudendal artery. This is superficial external pudendal artery. And this artery accompanied with the vein. This is superficial circumflex iliac vein. Superficial epigastric vein and superficial external pudendal. Here, great sharpness vein. This is great sharpness vein. And here you find superficial group of inguinal lymph node. These are present in T-shaped manner, T-shaped manner. 
So venous drainage and lymphatic drainage I have already discussed in one lecture that is lymphatic drainage and venous drainage of lower limb. So these are the lymph nodes superior lateral, superior medial and inferior vertically arranged. And here is a bursa present here and one is present here. In lateral view you can see this is femur, here is tibia, here is position of the patella, here is what is just femur is muscle. Here is ligamentum patelli. This is ligamentum patelli. And here is one bursa present. This is pre patellar bursa. This bursa is lying anterior to patella. This is pre patellar bursa. This bursa is large in case of housemate. This is also known as house made knee. In, in case of the chronic enlargement of this bursa is known as house made knee. Sometimes this may infect it. It usually infected in minus. So it is known as, if infected, known as minus beat knee. Here is another bursa. Subcutaneous infrapatellar bursa. This Subcutaneous infrapatellar bursa enlarged in case of curgy band. So, in case of chronic enlargement of this bursa, it is known as curgy band. So, these are the clinical importance of these two bursa. Prepatellar bursa, it enlarged, it's enlargement known as house made knee. And enlargement of this bursa is known as curgy band. And if this is infected, it is known as minus beat knee. So these structures present in superficial fascia. After removing the superficial fascia, you will find deep fascia. Deep fascia is loosely attached with superficial fascia, except some places, except here, below the pubic tubercle, from here to here, about 8 cm length, below the inguinal ligament, here, this membranous layer of the superficial fascia and deep fascia firmly adhered with each other. This is known as Holden's line. This Holden's line is important in case of the extra vaccination of the urine in case of a rupture of the urethra the urine cannot passes below to this so this is Holden's line after removing the uh, superficial uh, uh, fascia that is membranous layer fatty and membranous layer you will find deep fascia if you cut a transverse section of this you will find like this. Here is the skin, then superficial fascia, this is superficial fascia. It has two layers, outer layer is fatty layer, this is fatty layer and then inner layer is membranous layer. Deep to this there is deep fascia, this is deep fascia. Deep fascia is loosely attached with membranous layer. Loosely attached. Except the side of the Holden slide. And this deep fascia modified at several places. It modifies on lateral side for a band known as iliotibial tract. And this deep fascia is sleeve-like structure. It is known as fascia lata. 
डीप फेसिया जो था इन्होंने फेसिया लाटा दैट लीज बिकम ठीक है फॉर्म द इलियो टिबियल ट्रैक ठीक है इट फॉर्म द इलियो टिबियल ट्रैक दिस इलियो टिबियल ट्रैक एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम ये इस ट्यूबरकिल ऑफ द इलियो क्रेस्ट ये इस एसिटाबुलम Here is lateral condyle of the fibula, and here is position of fibula. So it attach this tibial tibial tract. Superiorly, it is divided into two part: superficial and deep part. Superficial part is attached with the tubercle on the iliac crest, and deep part attached with the capsule of the hydroid. Inferiorly, it attached on the lateral condyle of the tibia. <coughs> so, so this iliotibial tract, this iliotibial tract, superior attached here, inferior attached here, it gives insertion of Two muscles. One muscle lies here. This muscle is tensor fascia lata. This muscle is tensor fascia lata, and another muscle is gluteus maximus. This is gluteus maximus. So these two muscles attach this. This is gluteus maximus, and this is tensor fascia lata. And this tensor fascia lata is established. knee joint and hip joint during extension and semi flexion so this is all about the ilio tibial tract and the modification of the deep fascia here deep fascia forms saphenous opening there is saphenous opening through which this great saphenous vein enters into deep to deep fascia and joins with the femur vein and this this surface opening is filled with a fascia that is known as cribriform fascia so this is filled with a fascia known as cribriform fascia here is cribriform fascia is present and the modification it forms intermuscular septum Here is femur. This is femur, and posteriorly here is linea aspera. This is femur. Here is lateral intermuscular septum. Here is medial intermuscular septum. And here is posterior intermuscular septum. This is lateral, medial, and posterior intermuscular septum. This septum is modification of deep fascia. It is formed by deep fascia. By this septum, the thigh is divided into anterior compartment, medial compartment, and posterior. Compartment. so this is all about the skin superficial fascia and deep fascia of the thigh